to the pop top A tasty mix with some hip hop Fago never ever gonna stop Yeah, give me some of that No, I want all of that Fago's question that Something happens when I sip that Fago 52 flavors got me saying Hey, yo You Holy we're gonna be do trying as many Fagos as I could find and we're gonna be ranking them from 1 to 10 and by the end You know, we're gonna make a concoction in the jug in the jug. His name is Ernie apparently you're hanging out with ICP's gracious Greg You know, we're throwing down rhymes like it's everybody's day We're gonna get into the very first Fago and these are all ice cold right now first one we're gonna try is Fago cream soda Nice. Ah, let's get a smell on that. Oh. Can I get a whoop whoop? Whoop whoop! True jugglers were sprayed all over the room, Greg. You are, are you a real, ju real juggalo? You know, I was, I was spraying it all over the place uh, before I got on stream. So, you know, I'm all, I'm all fagoed out. But don't worry. As soon as I get off stream, I, I will spray it all over the place again. It smells like cream soda. It smells very, very sweet. Yes, yes, a little, a little milky. Let's try that. Creamy soda Vago. Whoop whoop. You know, I'm not a big fan of cream soda, but I kind of fuck with this one heavy. A lot of a lot of cream sodas have, have like a weird chemically aftertaste. But this one it doesn't ever it never happens. So, despite all my best interest, I'm going to say that Fago Cream Soda, 7 out of 10? Yeah. Whoop whoop! That's kind of crazy, bro. Right, now we're going to do this one I'm a little scared of because I don't like the taste of cotton candy, but we got Fago Cotton Candy. <laughs> Fucking blue, baby. All right, let's see what it smells like. <gasps> Whoa! Whoa! You right, that does smell like cotton candy. That smells exactly like cotton candy. Like a lot of these things, they smell cotton candy adjacent. This smells like cotton candy. To like the crunchy texture. Like you know how like when you uh when you put a little bit of liquid on cotton candy and it starts like bubble away at it and you kinda make it rigid and kinda kinda scratchy looking? That's what this smells like. It smells like you literally put a drop of water on cotton candy and made a drink out of it. Well, let's try it. That's not bad. Uh, not my favorite, but it's not bad at all. I mean, like I said, I already explained. It taste, it smells and tastes like almost exactly like cotton candy. It doesn't taste as much like as it smells, but still pretty good. I'm gonna say that's a, a solid five out of ten. I drink it again. Now we're moving on to Fago Red Pop. It's fucking red. Who's this clown? You think you think my makeup's funny, huh? You think, my, you think my makeup's funny? You wanna say it to my face? You wanna say it to my face? Alright, what is he? Red. It's fucking red, baby. It contains no fruit juice. Yeah, it does, baby! No fruit juice! Whoop whoop! <laughs> what the fuck does that even smell like, bro? <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> what does that smell like? That literally just smells like Red 40, bro. It smells like cough syrup. Like a drinkable cough syrup. <laughs> Wait, let's try it. Wait. I think I smell a little bit of grape. Mm. <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> cherry? I, I guess it's cherry. I guess. <laughs> it shows a strawberry on the front. It doesn't taste like strawberry. It doesn't taste like it should be ingestible. It doesn't taste like a flavor. Naturally an artificially flavored strawberry. Fucking where though? I don't taste any strawberry. Barely any cherry. I can, I can, I can kind of assume that there's cherry in there from the flavor, but it mainly just tastes like grape. So I'm gonna say it's a three out of 10. For first bad one, bro. For first bad one, cause I don't know what the hell to do with that. It doesn't, it doesn't taste like anything. It just tastes vaguely of white grape. Look at that 
bro, boom, shock a day. I'm banging J in the back like a vertebrae. And I come with a hat full of tricks. Drunk full of fake, yo, car full of fat chicks. <laughs> Fuck you. And now we're getting into fucking blue. Blue. If it's blue, you just blew my back out. What? Huh? What are you looking at, bro? Blue flavor, jazz and blue, blues berry. I'm gonna assume that means blueberry. But hey, I'm not a scientist. Let's see. I wouldn't say lukewarm, I'd say like, uh, Luke cool. <laughs> Luke, I am your father. <laughs> Alright, let's just smell it. Oh yeah, that's blue raspberry, baby. That's blue raspberry, baby! <laughs> It says bluesberry, but I don't smell no blueberry. I only smell blue raspberry. But I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lose my mind over that because I love blue raspberry. What up, hobo skulls? Whoop boop. Right, let's try it. Okay, okay. Little taste. Analyzing the flavors. I'm, I'm in love. I'm looking. I'm looking. That's a 7 out of 10 right there. That's a 7 out of 10 right there, guys. If it was just a little bit more sour, I would put, I would even put it into like 8 or 9 out of 10. But it's too sweet. It needs to be more sour. A definitive blue raspberry needs to be as sweet as it is as sour. So, 7 out of 10 on this shit, bro. On this jaw. Now we're getting into 2 liter territory. <laughs> guys, ready for 2 liter content? <laughs> See, look, look at the difference on that, bro. Regular content, Greg content. I just be doing it different. Fago orange. Now, if there's one thing I think Fago will kill it in, I think it's gonna be orange and grape. I think I think they got the, I think they got the, the beginning of success right there. Oh shit, that smell. That's just smelling like orangey orange. A little, a little more rindy. It has a little more of a rind smell. I'm aerating. I'm aerating the air bubbles. I can't. I can't say this is my favorite. I can't say this is my favorite. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm so, I'm so sorry. You know, if I had to, if I had to hold it up against other orange sodas I like, this is a little too sugary for me. But regardless, it is still a good orange soda. So I'm gonna say it's a six out of ten. Six out of ten, baby. My favorite kind of uh, citrus drink is uh, uh, squirt. <coughs> All right, now we're into. Grape. Whenever, whenever I think about uh, when I th whenever I think about a grape flavor, I don't want sweetness. I want some. I w I'm a, when you become an adult, you want you look for uh, stuff that's a little more a little more interesting, something, something that has a little more complexity to it. And this that smells like cough syrup. Wait a minute. This one's better. This one's better. Oh shit, it kind of checks out the punch on NyQuil. Pretty good, pretty good. I'm gonna say this great Fago. Seven out of 10? Seven out of 10 much? I wouldn't say it's the best grape I've ever had, but it's pretty damn good. And now, I didn't, I didn't do this in my root beer taste test because I didn't think about it. But, we got Fago root beer. Root beer, no! Let's get the... I can tell you right off the bat, it smells very sweet. It smells almost like there's vanilla in it. Vanilla, my fago, it's more, it's more likely than you think. I'd say this is uh, based off smell, really close to uh, A and W. A and W is my least favorite uh, root beer in terms of mainstream, but maybe it'll make up for it. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I'd say it's. I say it's like really close to being like Barks, and I love Barks. So I'm gonna say this is the first eight out of ten. What? <laughs> the first one we got on the can territory is Moon Mist, which I'm gonna assume is a Mountain Dew ripoff. Oh, that's got a little that's got a little sourness to it, a little lemony rindiness. All right, let's try it. That tastes, 
That tastes kind of like a, a flatter squirt. I kind of fucks with it. I, I like I like that grapefruit flavor, bro. I love it when drinks use grapefruit because in like soda form and stuff, grapefruit is really, really good. This moon mist is gonna get seven out of 10. <laughs> and now we're moving into Fago Rock and Rye. It's time to rock and roll, ladies and gentlemen. I don't even know what rock and rye is supposed to taste like. But by God, are we gonna find out right now? It's probably just gonna say chemical, 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 chemical. Carbonated water, high fructose corn syrup, citric acid, caramel color, poten potassium benzoate, preservative, natural and artificial flavors, red 40. It smells like bubble gum, bro. It smells kind of like iron brew in a way. Iron brew or that weird Indian cola. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not not a big fan. Not a big fan, guys. Damn! 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 Anyways, Fago Rock and Rye, I don't understand why they keep trying to put bubble gum into soda. I don't understand why people enjoy it. I'm not a bubble gum soda enjoyer. Fago Rock and Rye? One out of ten. I don't like it. And now we're getting into Dr. Fago because you guys need your shots. You guys are acting insane and therefore you need a shot of Dr. Fago. Dr. Fago. It's like Dr. Pepper, but not. It smells like Dr. Pepper. What? Which one goes best with lean? Uh, if I had to assume, I'd say the best one that go, the best one to go with lean is probably the grape. Because the grape has the strongest flavor to out outweigh the lean flavor. I'm gonna I'm gonna get a lot of hate for this. So I'm gonna get real closer to the camera just to make sure that people know. Can, can you get can you guys see me? Mr. Pip is better than Dr. Pepper. Mr. Pip is better than Dr. Pepper, and you can't I will not hear any explanations. It's a little, it's a little more Dr. Peppery. It's like, it's like a worse Dr. Pepper, which, which is surprising because I just said I like Mr. Pepper more than Dr. Pib, but I, I, I like <laughs> Dr. Pepper more than Mr. Pib, but kind of just a little flat, kind of just a little flat comparably. Anyways, Dr. Fago, I'm gonna say this is a. Three out of ten. And the la and the very last Fago. The very last Fago we got, guys, is Fago Firework. Probably it's probably a uh, Rocky Pop flavor, but I'm just I'm just assuming though. I'm just assuming though. Uh, let's crack that open. Oh yes. Oh. Oh good. That smells really fucking good. <laughs> it smells like, I guess, you know, you ever have those like little cherry reds, you know, those little cherry candy balls, like little sour cherry balls. That's what this, that's what this smells like. It smells like how those taste. All right. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. It, it, it almost tastes like a, it almost tastes like a new Mountain Dew flavor, but like better than how Mountain Dew does it. Because I've had Mountain Dew try to do a Rocket Pop flavor, and it did not, it did not, it did not taste nearly as good as this right now. Uh, I'm gonna say it. Nine out of ten. Nine out of ten on the Firework Fago flavor. It's pretty damn good. It's pretty damn good. Mm, yeah, very nice. Now we're gonna mix it in the jug. The jug is very powerful, guys. The jug is pretty awesome. Its name is Ernie. Gracious Greg drinking from the Ernie jug. Do a little, little finger stir. And now, we're gonna be drinking the ultimate ICP beverage out of the jug. See you on the other side, guys. Uh, 
So I'm going to say it's a 5 out of 10. Not bad, not bad. Now, thank you everybody for watching my Fago rankings. Uh, so before we move on to our next subject, I'm going to do a little bit of... Add a bucket to it or with them. And when the game is on with the show, it's Hocus Pocus Jokers. Great Malinko. Hocus Pocus Jokers ride. Come take a spin on a cardi ride. Whoop whoop. <laughs>